So first we're going to click on design new app. Okay. And over here, I'm going to call it a demo AI. Okay. Let's give it a meaningful name. Click on save. And give it a few more seconds. Okay. So right here, we have a blank jacket app. And now it's up for us to design the, the AI for this app. So first, we're going to start off by creating a new form. Okay. And let's name this form compare. So as we already know, uh, what we're doing today is to create an app that can take advantage of uh, facial recognition. So let's give it another new name. Let's call this demo AI and click on save. Okay, so right here, this is the form builder. Right here, I'm going to edit this section and I'm going to give it a meaningful name. So let's call this internal office use. And we are going to uh, insert a image upload field in here. So let's drag it in. Okay, and I'm going to edit it. And let's call this image one. Click OK. Right. So imagine this is the image upload field where the back office is going to upload a image or a profile of everyone. And now I'm going to have another section. Let's call this requester use. Okay. So we can now imagine this section is for the end users to 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 take a selfie and upload their image here. So again, I'm going to drag in a image upload field. And this time I'm going to call it image two. Okay. Okay. So right now, all we need is just both of these images for our AI to start comparing later on. So that's pretty much it, all we need for this form here. So I'm going to click on save. And okay, we are done with this form. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new process. Okay, so now we are in the process builder. The experience here is very familiar. It's the drag and drop experience. So first we'll start off by editing this process. So let's give this a meaningful name. So let's call this facial recognition. Same for the name. Okay. And for the workflow variable here, I'm going to insert distance. Uh, if you do not know uh, what is this for, don't worry. Um, later, I'm going to clarify and you'll know what this workflow variable is used for. So later on, I'm going to use this workflow, workflow variable to store the result of the AI. So let's click OK. And now here we have a blank process. Okay, So this is the participant swim link here. So let's give it a meaningful name. So let's call this the requester. And click OK. Right, so now let's start crafting our process. So first, I'm going to drag in an activity, okay, link it. So over here would be our compare activity. So at this point is where, where end users will start to upload images. So let's name it accordingly. Okay. And now I'm going to drag in a route and point this here to flow. So in this route here is where the AI is going to do its magic later on. Okay. And now we want two possibilities, uh, two possible flows in this process, uh, basically match or if the images do not match. Okay. So we're going to drag an activity, two of them. Oh, okay, just drag them in here. Okay. And I'm going to draw out two possible flows and I need to remember to end it, to end appropriately. Okay, tidy up a little bit. Okay, so let's name this activity quickly. So let's call this the match. And I'm going to call this activity no match. All right, okay. So now that we have our process done, all we have to do is click on deploy and give it a few seconds for it to complete. And done, our deployment is successful. So we just need to close the process builder, 
and refresh. So let's give it a few seconds for it to refresh. And we are good. Okay, so now we have our process and all these fields here, all these mappings, they are following the process that we created. So for the participant, let's just um, select the appropriate participant quickly. So participant form of a process. Okay. So we're done mapping our participant. So don't forget to map the form that we created earlier. So previously, it is the compare form uh, that we created. So let's map the form to the compare activity. So down here, compare activity. Let's add the compare form. Okay, so the compare form has been mapped. I'm just going to check these other fields. And right now, here is where we start to set up the AI. So for, uh, under this tab here called Map Routes to Plugins, we can add a plugin here to make decisions for us. And you'll notice there's a plugin here called the Simple TensorFlow AI Decision Plugin. And just for your information, the Simple TensorFlow AI Decision, decision Plugin is already available by default in every Joker installation, so you can get started quickly. Okay, so once we click on this plugin, so it's going to ask us to configure this plugin. So this is the point we will pro we will provide a, a AI model, and we will fill in the inputs accordingly. So right now, I actually already have an app. Uh, I've already configured the AI beforehand to save some time. So I'm going to quickly jump to the app and show you uh, what the configuration roughly means. Okay, just to give you a brief rundown of it. So I'm going to show you here. Okay, so right here, here is where I upload the, the pre-trained AI model. So where I got this AI model is I would like to give credits to Facenet for providing the pre-trained AI model. So you can go there and check out their GitHub page. And I would, look, I would like to also give credits to VGG Phase 2 for providing the training data set for this AI model that we will be using today. So coming back to Joget, over here, we have uploaded our uh, pre-trained AI model. And here we feed it the first image um, that we are going to feed the AI the first image from the first image upload field. And down here, we also fed the second image to the AI. So now that the AI has received these two inputs, and we want to be able to process both of those images and provide a result that we can act upon. So down here, we added a post-processing. In this case, I've added a Euclidean distance. So what this does is I point it to both of the images and it's going to give me a, a number as the result. So with this result here, now that we have the result, we can start to define the rules and tell the AI what to do if it finds a match. So down here in the rules, um, it's a simple if-else statement. So we can define it as if the result here from the AI is less or equal to about a value of 0 0.7, and we will consider this a match. So in the action down here, we will tell it to transition to a match flow, and we are going to store the result into the distance workflow variable. So anything that is uh, not within this condition, we would basically consider it not a match. So don't forget to add the non-matching condition uh, down here, uh, the transition, and also store the, the result into the workflow variable. So that's about it, right? So the AI has been already configured, and there's one last step that we need to do. So I'm going to click on create new user view, and I'm going to give it a meaningful name. So let's call this um, demo AI. Demo AI. Oh, there's a typo there. And just to make it clear, facial recognition. And click on save. Okay, right. So now the user view is ready. Let's launch it. Okay, right. So here, uh, this is the user view builder. So as you can see, it's a very familiar experience again. We have our canvas and we have our user view, 
uh, menus over here. So let's write in a run process menu here. Oh, don't forget, I'm going to add a use view category first and give it a meaningful name. So let's call this facial recognition and drag in a run process menu and edit it. And this time we're going to point it to our facial recognition process. And let's change the label to something more meaningful. So star facial recognition process. Okay, save. And now all I'm going to do is drag in a inbox so we can see the, the, the progression of the process in here. So the inbox is configured correctly already, so we'll just leave it as is and click on save. Okay, right, so the user view has been saved. So at this point, our app is ready for use. So uh, there's one last thing we need to do. Let's test it out. So let's close it. And don't forget to publish the app because at this point, this app is still unpublished and it's not available in the Joker App Center yet. So let's click here and select our app and publish the app. Okay, right. So our app has been successfully published. And if I were to refresh the Jogan App Center, you can see that the app is now in the App Center and now end users can start to launch this app and use it. So let's launch the app. All right, so over here, um, we have our run process menu. So let's try our facial recognition app. So let's start. Okay, so over here, we need two images to start comparing them. So I have some images already already. So in here, this is the first image that I'm going to upload. So basically, this is an image of me in my holiday. And the second image I'm going to upload is this. So the, the background is very similar and all I have is a different facial expression. So let's see how the AI can evaluate this. So I drag the first image into the first image of the field and my second image into the second image of the field and click complete. So now the AI is going to start to work its magic and compare the images and we will see very soon if both of these images are a match. Okay, right. So as you can see, uh, we have gone to the match activity. So yes, the AI has considered it a match. And we can see that the value of the, the Euclidean distance value has been stored into our workflow variable called distance. So just to be sure that it is indeed flowing to the correct uh, process flow, we can go to the Jugget Monitor and we go to Running Processes and click into it. So down here, we can see the progression of this process flow. And we can see, yes, it has indeed flowed to the correct activity. So right now, I'm going to run a second test. Let's see how robust this AI is. So I'm going to click on start, run, uh, start process again. And I'm going to use the first image of myself for the first image. But this time, for the second image here, I'm going to make it a bit more challenging. So this is the second image of me, but there are a few differences here. So number one, the background is really different. And this is a photo of me five years ago. So there are some differences. And the photo is of a low resolution photo. So let's see if the AI can still work its magic. So I'm going to drag the second image down here. And again, I'm going to click complete. So right now, the AI is going to work its magic again. So let's see if the AI can still work out and see if it's still me. So here we go, right? The AI still considers a match. 